A lot of people talk about horse training. I think it's important to talk about people training too. You owe it to your horse to learn more about horsemanship. Every year, I attend two to three clinics. I enjoy seeing a variety of different instructors, so I get a variety of styles and philosophies. It goes without saying 2020 was a tough year for attending clinics. But in September, I traveled to one of my favorite places to see a unique horse trainer. My friends Jeremy and Brandy Dunn of JB Cattle Company were hosting a two-day clinic at their Broken Arrow Ranch near the south base of the Tehachapi Mountains in Central California. The giant Tejon Ranch borders the Broken Arrow on three sides, and you have to wind your way through wind turbines and solar farms to get there. When you travel alone, you've got to open and close your own gates. I drove up Friday afternoon to get Scratch settled in and my camp set up. Just got finished setting up the tent. It's kind of windy here. I don't know if you can see them in the background, but there's some uh, wind machines up there behind me. Can you see those? Let's see, where are they? I don't know, I don't have my glasses on so I can't see, but I'm sure they're back there someplace. So anyway, uh, we've got the arena all set up. Not me, but they have the arena set up for tomorrow and it's gonna be a great day. We're at uh, about, gosh, I think my phone said it was like 3,400 feet. And uh, I'm a flatlander, so if you, I start breathing hard, forgive me. We got the pens over here, put scratch up. Got some good horses here to, up for this weekend. Gonna learn a lot. I gave him a bath right before I left, and of course the first thing he had to do was roll and get to be a mess. I read somewhere that Tom Hagwood has started over 2,500 colts. I knew from talking with him on my podcast about horses and horsemanship that he'd won over $200,000 in 2013 at the very first and only Mustang Million competition. I'll have a link in the description if you want to listen to that podcast. Tom's story of how he got involved in the Mustang competitions is pretty cool. He also gives a few horsemanship tips in that podcast. And that's free information directly from him to you. Hit the like button if you're partial to free. And you know, Tom knows his stuff. He's won the Mustang makeover four times, three of them in a row. So what was I doing at a clinic with a colt starter? It's not that I have a desire to start another horse, although I think I could do a better job the second time around. But for me, you can distill the essence of horsemanship in the fine art of colt starting. Do it right and you have a partner for life. Do it wrong and you'll spend most of your time on that horse trying to retrain him. Now you get, here's a little preparation. Topper, he's gonna he's gonna help me out here today and uh, be a little wild for us. Good boy, Topper. This is in the hobbles. Don't cinch them very tight at all, and cinch them five or six times. And, and my horses, four different Mustangs from four different herd management areas, rode the same. Coming from a working cowboy background, Tom has a unique style of using ropes to work safely around his horse. I won't try to explain how he does it because I'd probably screw it up. But check out one of his clinics and learn directly from him. I can tell you that he and his wife showed me several techniques to improve Scratch's headset and turnaround. Scratch and I competed in two ranch riding shows in the months after the clinic, and we placed second both times in the open division. Thanks, Tom and Arianne. While we spent much of Saturday watching Tom work with Topper, we were in the saddle too. Tom and Arianne worked with us on the basic maneuvers every horse needs to know. 
and work on some drills, um, stops, turnarounds, lead change, and positioning on a cow. So these are some of the ideas that I hope that we can squeeze in this weekend. And Sunday, Tom made sure every participant got a little one-on-one -on -one time to work on issues specific to their horse. There's something about being around other people trying to learn more about horsemanship that is inspiring. We all have a little different technique and it's good to see and learn how others do it. We spent the last part of the clinic working with cattle and learning some really cool techniques on how to teach your horse to stay on that cow. Yes, clinics are at an added expense, but I can tell you that the added time I spent with Scratch to prepare him for the clinic, the ideas and positive energies I picked up at the clinic, then the practice of those ideas after the clinic made the cost seem like a bargain. And it's a great motivator for spending time with your horse. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Please click on the subscribe button to be a part of this channel. That'll do it for now. I hope to see you out on the trail. So until next time, go have some fun with your horses. Bye-bye, everybody.